Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 powerful hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So let's dive in and get started right away. You are going to love these features. All right, the first feature has to do with a hidden keyboard feature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch my text messages just so I can have the keyboard up right here so you can see what I'm talking about. So once you are in the keyboard, what you want to do is you want to tap on this button right here. And it's going to bring up a menu. In this menu, there's an option known as extract text. So what you can do with that one is just grab the phone. And here's some text, by the way. This is just an example text right here. So grab the phone, tap on extract text, and that is going to launch the camera in this little area. Now, when I actually go over and look at any text, in this case, I'm looking at that piece of paper, I can tap on extract text. And what that's going to do is, it is going to extract this text. It's going to put it right over here as you just saw, okay? I can also tap on the highlighted text to select it individually, as you can see, okay? So I can change what I want to be extracted from the phone. So you can do that with the built-in keyboard. And again, I'm using a very simple example here, but you can do this for anything you can extract a menu in a restaurant, you can extract a whiteboard in a classroom or in a meeting room or whatever you want. Just remember, you do have a hidden camera that is able to extract text built in right onto your phone and all you do is tap on extract and it's gonna extract that text. Fantastic guys, let's move on to the next tactic. All right, the next feature has to do with the refresh rate. Now when I go to my settings right over here and if I go to my display, you do know that this phone has an adaptive display refresh rate, which is right here. You can go from 60 to 120, but the 120 actually is quite advanced. So with the hidden feature, I'm going to activate a little number on the screen that is going to show you the live refresh rate of your phone's display. So we're going to go back right over here. I'm going to go all the way down under settings, go into about phone. Once you are in about phone, go to software information. I want you guys to tap the bill number seven times, uh, five times or whatever, until you see the pin number entry. So I'm going to put the pin number in. And what that is going to do is it is going to activate the developer's options. Now you go back to the main settings screen, which is right here. Go all the way down. You have a developer options menu. Tap on it and then scroll down till you see the show refresh rate option, which should be somewhere over here, right over here. It says show refresh rate. So enable this and on the top, you're going to see live refresh rate. You can see it says 24 right now because I'm not touching the screen. But the moment I touch the screen, it goes to 120, which is what it's supposed to do. And that's how it's saving you battery. So it drops to 24, but when I interact with the phone, it goes back to 120. And you can see as I scroll through the phone, it remains at 120. But the moment I stop touching it, it is 24. And that is because it is saving battery life by dramatically reducing the refresh rate. Sometimes it'll jump to 60 or whatever, no big deal. That's when this happens, okay? But anyway, if I go to settings, and if I scroll down, go to display, and if I go to motion smoothness and switch to standard, now look at this. It stays at 60 when I touch it. When I don't touch it, it goes to 24, okay? So that's going to save you even more battery life because you're not going over 60, but then you're not going to get the smooth scrolling. But of course, the hidden feature is the fact that you can have this up here at all times and calculate the live refresh rate of your display. Fantastic. Let's move on. Now, the next feature has to do with any kind of notification, whether that's a phone call, an alarm, maybe a timer or whatever. There is a special way to stop any notification from screaming in your ears. I'm going to use the clock real quick to give an example. So I'm going to do clock and I'm going to set a timer for, let's say, three or four seconds. OK. After the timer runs out, you're going to hear the alert just scream in my face. Now, again, that could be an alarm that is bothering you. You want to continue sleeping, whatever. Or maybe it's a phone call during a meeting. You want to quickly mute it. No problem. Let me show you what you can do. So I'm going to tap on start. After a couple seconds, it's going to start to do the ringing. There we go. So all I do is grab the phone, 
put it like this and that's going to mute anything that is ringing whether that's an alarm a phone call a timer or whatever so that's a fantastic little way to get rid of those annoyances if they are annoying at a given time now you do want to make sure this feature is enabled should be enabled by default but go to the settings scroll down go to advanced features okay and then go over to motions and gestures and then make sure mute with gestures is in fact enabled so you can perform that action all right let's move on all right the next feature is quite amazing so i'm going to go to my gallery you can go to your gallery and pick any photo so here's a photo of a car what you can do is you can tap on the edit button okay and once you tap on the edit you're going to see these four squares tap on these guys and then scroll all the way down and go to style now this style is going to allow you to create some really artistic images out of any photo that you took so here's my car you can see i can tap on this and i have that effect i can tap this one i can have that effect and all these are going to be mine i can use them share them any way i please because it is just part of the phone look at this beautiful now when you pick any one of these effects what you can also do is you can change the intensity of the effect by using this slider as you can see so i can bring it to 25 all right and if i go over here again i can bring this to 25 so i can dial in the perfect amount of effect you want to add but look at all the options you have pen and wash cubist you got the oil paint effect again you can change it now one thing you want to keep in mind is after you pick up your effect and you tap on done make sure don't tap on save tap the three dots and say save as copy and that's going to make sure to make sure you retain the original image and also you have this now which you can share post anywhere that you please all right the next feature has to do with precision cursor control so let me just bring up samsung notes okay and normally you have this cursor you can place places sometimes even your finger is not allowing you to put it in the perfect spot so what you can do is you can bring up a precision cursor controller to put it exactly where you want it so make sure the keyboard is available and maybe you're in a samsung notes application or any other application then when the keyboard is up you tap on this button and then if you don't see it in here make sure to tap on plus grab it and simply put it right here now you have the text editor now when i tap this guy i am able to using these arrows put the cursor anywhere i want on the screen with high levels of precision as you can see i can put it exactly where i want it i can even tap on select all to select everything if i want that's all my uh, up to me but this key controller here allows you to go anywhere okay as you can see now what if you want to select a particular area within a paragraph or a sentence what you can also do is you can tap on the select right here make sure this is blue and then look at this i can precision select this portion of that word and i can cut it copy it or whatever so look cut and now let's say i want to put it right here let's say i want to put it right here paste okay so i can cut anything from anywhere precisely and move it around using this keyboard cursor controller with the select cut copy and paste functionality fantastic guys let's move on by the way when you're in here if you want to go back to the keyboard just tap on the keyboard now the next feature also has to do with the keyboard and how i can change the color of this keyboard so again bring up the keyboard go to the settings right there okay and then scroll down and what you can do is there's a couple things you can do first and foremost you can have a high contrast keyboard enable this and you have these options you have this option you have this option you have this option and you have this option this is for people that want to use a high contrast keyboard for visibility reasons now when you disable the high contrast keyboard you have the option to choose light or dark solid dark or solid light so look i can choose between this this and this as you can see so various different options to have a keyboard and you can also test drive it after you pick it so high contrast and theme for the keyboard right inside the keyboard you can also access these settings from the settings 
scroll down go to general management right here and then what you can do is you can go to Samsung keyboard settings and the same settings will show up right here as you can see by the way while you're in here you can also change the size and the transparency of the keyboard I can make it bigger smaller even move it up and down with the space at the bottom as you can see and when you're done you, you, you can tap on done and one more thing right in the same menu you can go to font size and change the size of the font on the actual keyboard so I can make it small as you can see or bigger okay fantastic you should customize the keyboard to your perfect preference because you do use it all the time all right guys so that brings us to the end of this video if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day